Hello everybody, welcome back. This is Tinker77. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on this trash can that has an auto shut off feature. This came about because of uh, my AFK fish charm in Tinker World. The idea of the fish farm, obviously you run AFK for a long time, you gather a lot of items in chests, and then when you get come back you can take out the items you want. But then you're left with a whole bunch of garbage in there that you want to get rid of. And the first time you ever do it, you're just, you manually grab the stuff out and kind of empty it manually. And that's a pain. So then you develop some sort of trash can system. This is always the basic clock right here. You can see the basic system with the dropper. That's something that everybody does. And what you do is you usually have some sort of a switch or a lever, which opens up the hopper and or unlocks it and lets everything drop through. The problem is that you may forget that you unlocked it. And so then later on when you come back to use your fish farm, you don't check it and you start using your fish farm and, and things just kind of like keep going all the way through and down into the trash. So that's not a good thing. So this system here is a basic system where you don't have to worry about that. So what I have here is a locking system where this button will, will turn off this torch. This torch is currently keeping the, the uh, hopper locked. Okay. So what happens though is that when items start going to the hopper, the comparator turns on. The comparator says, hey, there's something there, I want to flush it out. And so it powers a circuit which keeps the torch off until everything is passed through and then it relocks. Okay, so let's do that really quick here. If I put this in, I hit the button, you can see nothing went through yet, nothing's happening. I'll press the button. The button's done, but the comparator is keeping this entire circuit unlocked until it finishes and then you'll see it turn back on and it's locked again. And everything has gone through. Okay, so let's show you a tutorial on how to build this. This is pretty easy. The first part of the tutorial, we're going to go over the dropper clock system, which is covered in some of my other videos, and you've seen this all over the internet. So I'm not going to go into great detail, but basically what you have, you have your comparator, you have your repeater, and you have your redstone going all the way around and back over here, and another repeater facing the other direction. Okay, then what you're going to want to do is you want to put a block against this repeater, right against there and now you can put your dropper. I'm going to put my dropper facing down. You can do whatever you like with that, whatever you're going to drop your uh, junk items into. And that's the basics of it, okay? We're going to put, just so I can show you, a hopper and then a chest on top. So when you put items in here, the circuit will automatically just start dropping out the items. That's your basic trash can. Now the second part of this tutorial, we're going to go on to work on the auto shutoff system. What you want to do is you want to put a block right against this uh, dropper. Then you're going to do a, put a block up and a block over. You can get rid of that block. We're going to go around the corner. And you want to do a block up. You can get rid of that one there. Okay. So now what we're going to have here is the comparator is going to take the output of the hopper into a block. We're going to strengthen that signal using our repeater, which goes back over into this block here. This block here, we want to have a torch. You'll hear that click. And you want to put a button on the other side here. And it's ready to go. So now when I put items in here, I'll put the 16 items in. Hopper is locked, you can see. Nothing goes through. Push the button and it starts dumping the items out. And all the items will get completely dumped out and then it will relock. It's relocked. Nothing in the chest, nothing in the hopper, nothing in the dropper. You put another set of items in here and you notice that they do not keep on going. It's actually locked and ready to go. So we can do another set. Here we go. Works great. So this is a great system, works fantastic, and it does exactly what I need. It lets it dump everything out until it gets done, and then it closes back up so I can start to use the fish farm again. That's really all there is to it. It's a very basic system. It's really useful, especially, like I said, with the AFK fish farms, and that's the purpose why I created this in the first place. So if you like this video, please click that like button. I can't stress enough how important that is. It really, really does uh, help YouTubers out, letting YouTube know, engage, what videos are doing really well. If you have any comments, please put them in the comment section. I'm eager to read what your uh, ideas and, and thoughts are on this. And if you'd like to be notified of any videos I produce, please subscribe to this channel. Also, don't forget to click the little bell icon that's to the right of the subscribe button. Again, I am Tinker77. Thank you for joining me. Have a great day. Bye-bye.